Hello everybody, I'm Mark Massatenta. I'm here to help strengthen your guitar skills and today's topic is percussive acoustic guitar. So a few years ago I saw these guys, you know, tapping and hitting and slapping and, uh, on YouTube videos and it was great. It was really fun. And so I decided, hey, I need to look into this. So I explored a little bit and I even got into this little phase where I was composing a lot of songs um, for the purpose of incorporating some of these percussive guitar techniques. Most of them were in an alternate tuning, but um, if you go to my playlists, you will see that little section of percussive acoustic guitar. So you should check those out. All right, so this is just to get you started. Uh, and don't be afraid if you have just a regular, normal acoustic guitar like I do. On these videos that you see, these guys that specialize in it, yes, they've got very fancy guitars with, you know, everything set up perfectly, the action, and they've got microphones inside their guitars and all this. Will that make it sound better and more sensitive to these percussive things? Yeah, it will. But you don't need it to start. Okay, just use your regular old acoustic steel string guitar and you'll be fine to get going. You're going to do three things today and I'm going to show you what they are to just get started. So first thing you're going to do is learn how to take your right hand thumb and just slap against the bass strings, like that. You want that kind of metallic rattly sound. So I'm hitting it pretty hard. And it's, it's just one motion. My whole forearm is just rotating like that. Like that. And you're gonna wanna practice for just consistency. Where the thumb lands, um, am I aiming for any specific bass string? I'm kind of aiming for my thumb knuckle, maybe to be between string six and five. So if I'm kind of aiming for that, it's going to hit one of the bass strings somewhere. And you just go for the same. You want to be um, consistent with the tempo and with the tone like that. So then you gotta think like a drummer. You want to get a groove going. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Notice I'm playing on the off beats. I'm playing on beat two and four. That's how you want to feel it. One, one, one. So first do that. Then you want to add some chords. Um, use the simplest chords that you know, okay? Don't let the left hand be difficult because we're working mainly on the right hand here with percussive effects. So keep it simple in the left hand. I'm just alternating. with the bass slap. Now notice that when I'm strumming chords, we're doing this finger style. So when I'm strumming, I'm only using my index finger to just stroke across the strings, down stroke, boom. Chord, slap, chord, slap, chord. So for the chord, I'm just using one finger try to keep the chords ringing while I do the slap. Number two would be to start learning this body percussion, body meaning the body of the guitar, uh, where you can hit it, and that's fun. You want to be able to recreate like a kick drum, some people call that the bass drum, and snare. So you want to use the heel of your hand 
because that's real thumpy and heavy. And you want to find over here like the thumpiest, lowest, deepest sound that, that you can get. Usually I just end up right behind the bridge. Like that. So that's my bass drum. For the snare, you're going to use fingers. And you're going to come here at the bottom edge, kind of uh, right in front of your little strap post. And you're just going to bring your fingers and slap across the edge of that bottom. Now, it's pretty firm because you want it to pop. So sometimes if I don't do it quite hard enough, if you just do that, if you just tap it and stop your hand right there, it's not going to be so great. So I'm really I'm flicking past the side of the guitar like that. So you can get bass. Snare, bass, snare. Like that. Then you add chords. Now, just feel free to improvise. Once you get the basics down, then you can start improvising a little bit. And you'll find that you can add little subtle things. Let's see what happens here. So I'm going to alternate between chords and some of these um, body percussion effects. So. start to improvise and you can get more um, intricate little drum beats. Just think like a drummer. Number three, the little technique we can use here is right hand tapping. So it's just like just like a hammer on that we're used to, but you're going to use your right hand to do the tapping. Okay, so you can either use your index or your middle finger. I would try them both and see which one is more accurate. For me, I usually end up using my index finger. My aim is a little better, I think, with my index. Uh, so the first thing to do would be just to learn the pressure that you need to hammer and get the note to come out. I'm actually using my thumb to help steady my hand. Sometimes you can do that, sometimes you can't. It just depends on what you're doing, but I use that to help me aim like that. And notice I'm not coming from, you know, it's not the distance that makes it come out. It's just that firm, quick. pushing of your finger to get the note to come out. So why would you do this? Well, it's because maybe your left hand is busy and you need to grab something up here. Uh, so you might go, you know, like a... to get some kind of little riff going. Uh, so in this case, I was hammering the note and then pulling off to give me the low E. Just a little, you know, extra note in there. Hammer, pull, hammer, pull. Okay, that's all done with my right hand index finger. Now, sometimes you can play something that's more melodic. You know, like you might have... Uh, some kind of more um, melodic or scalar type of thing. Right. Okay, so now 
that's a neat kind of fun way to get extra notes. Just bring your right hand over and tab. Uh, so I guess I could try to do some kind of drum part over here and just kind of put it all together like chord, tap, hammer. improvised like I just did. Not everything worked out perfectly, but that's how you learn what's possible and what's not and what things you have to work on a little harder to get to come out the way you want it to. But all that stuff's really fun. So those are the three starting exercises to try when you want to learn percussive acoustic guitar. Good luck with that, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next video.